The chemical shipping industry plays a vital role in our expanding world economy. Carrying more than 50,000 different chemical substances, this seaborne trade supplies essential chemicals throughout the world. The U.S. Department of Commerce forecasts by the year 2010, the world's petrochemical demand will grow nearly 80 percent to 575 million metric tons. This positive growth outlook is tempered by the ever-present danger of massive ecological damage should any of these tankers have a spill due to collision or corrosive attack. The Marine Pollution Act of 1990 has dramatically increased regulations demanding environmentally green ships. Additionally, chemical carriers are under competitive pressures to increase economic efficiency by spending less time in port and by carrying more diverse cargoes. To meet these needs, an exciting development in polymer coatings with corrosion resistance surpassing stainless steel promises to dramatically reduce costs of chemical tank construction. This smooth, non-stick coating allows easier cleaning, improves operational efficiency, reduces port time, and increases bottom line profits more than 20%. This unique coating delivers a vessel that is substantially less costly and even more versatile than a stainless steel equipped chemical tanker, all without any downside. These innovations come from advanced polymer coatings with marine lines. Marine line is low heat force cured, resulting in superior bond strength and adhesion. It is repairable, has very low VOCs, and can be applied to pitted, corroded steel. It is non permeable and is certified for food grade cargoes. Marine line outperforms all other coatings, such as phenolic epoxy and zinc silicates, in chemical resistance, temperature resistance, abrasion, absorption, flexibility, and toughness. Marineline is a different coating than, than other coatings in the market and uh, when you start off with uh, your crew uh, telling them uh, that you will build a ship with, uh, with coating, they compare it with the, 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 the traditional coatings in the market uh, and at the moment they are aware of the fact that, that Marineline is something different than the, the, the traditional ones and uh, that it has advantages and they believe in that advantages themselves now as well. In 1998, Clearwater Group's Coral Water was the first chemical tanker in the Netherlands coated with marine lime. It has successfully carried hundreds of the most aggressive chemicals, including acrylonitriles, acetic acid, methanol, caustic soda, epichlorohydrine, methylene chloride, formaldehyde, neodyne, and nitrobenzene. With the success of the Coral Water, Clearwater coated the Coastal Water in 2000 and the Cliff Water in 2002. The traditional response to shipping a wide variety of corrosive chemicals has been tanks made from stainless steel. But stainless steel is expensive and cannot carry all cargoes on the IMO list. Ironically, it is attacked by chemicals containing chlorides, including salt water. In a comparison of the 131 most commonly carried cargoes, stainless steel resists only 97, while marine line resists all 131. I think that there are advantages on, on, on Marineline uh, due to the fact that you can uh, build uh, ships faster uh, because you don't have to use all the stainless steel. At the moment we have three ships with uh, Marineline and two ships with stainless steel. The elder ones are stainless steel, so we actually decided to go over to Marineline. Marineline is also far superior in surface quality. Marineline is more than four times smoother and 40 times slipperier than stainless steel. The big advantage of metal line is that you can uh, clean it very easily because uh, it's, it's, it's very smooth and, uh, and polished surface. So cleaning is a job that can be done much easier than on stainless steel. That's, a, that's a really a big advantage. Marine line's toughness and resilience was proven when a chemical tank imploded during unloading. The forces that twisted, buckled and distorted the steel structure did not damage the marine line coating. Certification of marine line has been an ongoing process in the lab and in the field for over a decade. Marine line can routinely handle cargoes of methanol, acetic acid, acrylonitrile, sulfuric acid, caustics, EDC, and superphosphoric acid. 
These independent test results have been certified by members of the International Association of Classification Societies. Marine line has been tested and proven resistant to more than 5,000 different chemicals. Marine line can be applied to either new builds or existing chemical tankers. Application techniques are straightforward and use typical coating procedures found throughout the industry. However, to ensure the highest quality, all applications of marine line are specified, tested, and fully supervised by APC employees. All tank welds must be continuous and inspected for durability. All welding must be complete prior to coating the tanks. The tanks are grit blasted to an SA 2.5 cleanliness with a 75 to 100 micron blast profile. Once blasting begins, the environment and surface temperatures of the tanks should be kept above 10 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity kept at 70% or lower. Marine line is supplied in two containers and must be thoroughly mixed in the proportions supplied. It is a low VOC compliant material. Marine line is applied in two spray coats and two stripe coats. Throughout the application process, extensive quality control tests for consistent material thickness are conducted. Spark tests are performed to check for pinholes and voids. Special emphasis is placed on seams, welds, and corners. Marine line must be fully cured before loading aggressive cargoes. Forced hot air at 80 to 100 degrees Celsius for a minimum of six hours is the preferred procedure. Thermal couples are attached to the inside of the tank and the cure is constantly monitored by a 12-point chart recorder. Alternatively, for double hull vessels, a full cure can be obtained with a hot cargo such as animal or vegetable oils maintained at 60 to 80 degrees Celsius for a minimum of 20 days. Marine Line increases your profits when compared to other coatings. Even though Marine Line costs more than epoxy, Marine Line delivers a complete return on investment in less than 12 months with increased shipping efficiency and more sailing days per year. Profits are also increased by reducing downtime. Phenol epoxy and zinc coatings cost over 50 US dollars per square meter to clean and dry. Marine line costs less than one U.S. dollar per square meter. For a 20,000 deadweight ton tanker, this can add up to a profit increase of 60,000 U.S. dollars per trip. Marine line is clearly superior to stainless steel in corrosion resistance and performance. But the additional construction cost savings are astounding. Installation of carbon steel coated with marine line is only 15% the cost of stainless steel. Chemical tankers have been successfully coated with marine line in shipyards around the world. And the marine line user list of satisfied customers continues to grow every year. In 1994, the first full ship to be coated with marine line was the Latvian shipping company's 28,000 deadweight ton chemical tanker Indra. In 1995, with the success of the Indra, the Latvian shipping company upgraded the 16,400 deadweight tanker Zintari to an IMO 2 and 3 chemical tanker and coated all tanks with marine line. In 1996, Latvian also upgraded the sister ship, Zanis Griva, and coated all tanks with marine line. All ships continue to perform successfully in the highly aggressive chemical trade. The technical manager of Latvian shipping company, Arnis Zagaris, has commented that Latvian chartered ships are known not only for their cargo carrying versatility, they transported cargoes ranging from superphosphoric acid and methanol to wine and vegetable oils, but also for their quick, easy tank cleaning and faster cargo sequencing. This performance and the proven durability of marine line system far exceeds the operational results achieved by other chemical and product tankers in Latvian shipping's fleet which totals 39 vessels ranging from 6 to 41,000 deadweight tons. And it is anticipated that further tankers in the fleet will be equipped with marine line in the future. 
1997, Luke Oil Arctic tankers elected to coat the 15,900 deadweight ton ice class oil chemical tankers Perm and Volgograd with marine line. With two years of outstanding performance in frigid Arctic conditions, Luke Oil again chose marine line for their next three chemical tankers. In 1999, the 15,800 deadweight ton tankers St. Petersburg, Mykop, and Murmansk were coated in Bismarck, Germany. The manager of the technical department of Luke Oil, Victor Muljugan, commented, We were extremely pleased with Marine Line's performance, especially ease of cleaning and fast turnaround. All our new chemical tankers will be coated with Marine Line. In 1998, Medemar of Italy chose Marine Line over stainless steel and simply reported, We made the correct decision. Metamar Seva, a 14,000 deadweight ton IMO2 chemical tanker, was built in Italy. All 17 cargo tanks and two deck tanks were coated with marine line. Metamar's managing director, Dr. Paolo Cognoni, states, Marine line was selected for its quality and versatility. It is cheaper than stainless steel, and conventional high-performance coatings do not provide us with the versatility required. Marine Line's impermeable smooth surface finish is a further advantage. This means it is very efficient for tank cleaning with excellent ability to sequence different types of liquid cargoes. Tank washing and drying times are even better than stainless steel tanks, which enables Metamar to achieve faster vessel turnaround. In a shipping business, you cannot keep ideas for yourself because uh, always we're looking around and, and talking to each other so uh, we're just colleagues and that's why we learn from each other as well and I can recommend the Marine Line. There's no reason that we say we go away from Marine Line so at the moment uh, we have three ships, uh, three ships with uh, Marine Line and a fourth will come in the future as well I think. All the features and benefits of Marine Line add up to additional profits of millions of dollars per year by reducing installation costs over stainless steel, reducing cleanup time, reducing the need for slop capacity, reducing port time, increasing the number of trips, increasing flexibility by carrying a greater variety of cargoes. A chemical carrier with tanks coated with Marine Line will be able to carry all chemicals on the IMO list. It will be more environmentally friendly than any other ship. Operations costs will be reduced. Over the lifetime of the ship, additional potential profits will be in the multi-millions of dollars. If you would like more information on how Marine Line can improve your chemical transportation business, contact Advanced Polymer Coatings in the United States by phone at 440-937-6218 by fax at 440-937-5046 or email at marineline at adv-polymer.com.